Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. In this one we're not really going to draw a dragon, which is funny. This time we're going to talk about something that probably is in the mind of all of you, which is inspiration. So, how do we get inspiration? Yay! Ta-da! Well, we don't really just get inspiration by itself. Sometimes we get it with an added bonus of trying to draw more things or things that we don't usually draw, right? So I was thinking, as I was drawing a, a different piece that I'm not going to share right now because it's not finished, I was thinking about other artists that draw much better than me and then the ugly little black worm of the artist block came by and told me that I couldn't draw better than them even though if I if I tried or researched and I don't know did my best probably couldn't even draw better and it comes for everybody for me for even the best artists from the people who are just starting in anything in singing in writing in whatever they want anything really and as I am not the only one, I wanted to share this with you so you can find your inspiration and get out of that artist block that we all hate. I assume we all hate it, because I really do. So, when I heard that I couldn't draw better than other people in my head, that voice was probably mine, but it was made by years of, well, thinking the same thing, you see. You see other people draw better and then you just squash yourself. So you're here and you let this thing fall on top of you. Yeah, that's how I felt today. So I was thinking, why not share this, right? Well, let me just tell you something. We all have our style. And I said that in the first video. We all have our own ways of drawing things, our own interpretation of anything, be it a cartoon, a realistic drawing, fantasy, I don't know, anything you want to draw. And I will share some things that have happened that I've done in the past and things that I've learned from. So one thing, yes, when I was 13 years old, I used to steal art. Yes, you heard that right. I stole art. What did I do? I grabbed pictures from the internet that I that weren't mine, that didn't belong to me. Mostly dragons and such. And I posted them on DeviantArt, which is when I first started 10 years ago. And I submitted them and I, well, pretended they were my own. Of course they were different drawings, so normal people could realize that I did not draw those things. That was kind of obvious, but my 13-year-old ego wanted to be praised for something, right? So I posted those drawings and I waited for comments. Yay! And, and people came and, and actually wrote things to me. And it made me happy for at least five minutes. Like, oh, that's so cool, yeah, I like it. They enjoyed it. But the thing was, they weren't enjoying my art. They were enjoying somebody else's art, and I was a thief, so they were enjoying a lie, mostly. And why did that even make me feel happy when I didn't make that, right? Because we all have egos. We all have egos that need to be filled, every single person in the world. And that's not bad, necessarily, but it's bad when your ego makes you want to take something for your own that is not yours, instead of making it your own. So, that's the first thing. I have stopped. I stopped when I was, I don't know, 14. I stopped doing that. Because some people caught me and they, they asked me to please stop. And instead of trolling, which I didn't do, I just, I don't know, I felt guilty because it wasn't mine. So, yeah, that's like the first thing. The second part was when I started watching other artists in the same part, page, in DeviantArt. So, I've been there for 10 years, as I said before. And of course, when I was 13, I found a lot of artists that were 
well, a million years apart from me, like, they could draw anything, in any style, and I found them, well, incredible. And I couldn't do half of that. So, the third thing would be, I don't know, the artist blocks that came every single time, but it's also something else. Now, this might sound like a very sad video to you, I hope it's not. I just want to be open about like anything and well something that I think most of the people nowadays suffers from. It's depression. And I suffered for that for like four years before it became really bad. And I didn't feel like drawing at all. Like anything, anything at all. I could not draw. It wasn't it wasn't there. So I found out that I had depression because of that. Because I couldn't draw. Of course, I've been treating it now and I am back to drawing and making videos, and that makes me really happy. But if you struggle from that, just know that you are not alone in that road. That most artists, sometime in their life, suffer from something like this. It can either come from, I don't know, being jealous of another artist, or wishing you could draw better and you just can't, or feel that you can't, and you're in a rut and you cannot get out of there. Don't you worry. We have all been there, and if we haven't, we understand. Because that's what art is about. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. And the thing is just to keep going because practice eventually leads to getting better. So that, that's a good point, okay? Don't be sad about that. That's just, well, something I think many people struggle with. And now the fourth one and the last would be how to find your inspiration. my handwriting with a tablet so please ignore it um, and how to find your inspiration well I find it in others when I am not comparing myself to them and I really have to work on stopping the comparison game because it just makes you sad and it doesn't work at all so instead of comparing in a bad way grab the other person's drawings and learn from them try to draw better Try to grab what they do best and copy it and make it your own, as I said in the first video. And you'll see how much that works. So don't worry about that. If you think you're not learning anymore, if you feel like you suck, if you watch this video and feel depressed, if you watch the other videos and feel depressed, don't be sad. Really, I'm just making these because I want to get out of that hole and help other people learn. And I, I will do this for as long as I can. I don't know, for this year first, and then you'll see more videos later, and you can you can also suggest ideas for me to make, and we can learn together and grow together, so don't be sad, because you don't have your own style, or you don't feel like you can draw anything good or better than some other people, just get better than yourself. And I thought this was the last, but probably this would be the last. I'm writing you. No, I'm kidding. Better than you. The other, the only person that can be better than you is yourself. The other, the other people might draw different things and be better in I don't know in parentheses, but the the only person that can actually be better than you is yourself. So take that and try to get better than you. Okay, not better than someone else. And that's all for now. I am not drawing a dragon in this episode, as you can see, but it works for any kind of art. So if you're not a dragon artist, that's completely fine. This episode won't be titled How to Draw Your Dragon, this will be titled something else. So Don't you worry if you don't have inspiration. We've all been there. And if you need, I don't know, someone to talk to, you can talk to me. And we'll think of something together. So please, subscribe if you want more videos. We're making dragon tutorials, tips, other things. And this is just starting, so the fun is here. Ding, 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 ding. Please, subscribe. Love you guys. Bye-bye.